episode of Rose and Gold. I'm your host, IK, and this is our lovely co-host, Dr. Ross. Love one. Every team is every team. But let's get straight into our hot topics. Dr. That's Ross, right. what do we have in the news? So for our first hot topic, before we get into the news, I just want to say IK has been doing something with our stylist on our personal team, as you can see from the left and the right. Exactly. As you can see, there's new colors, things that we've got added in. But that's a self-absorption that I try to steer clear of. A vanity. But speaking of, since Dr. Ross pulled up the subject, Retro Revolution. The reason why I'm mentioning them is not only for the fact that they have amazing products. Once you go in there, you're going to be delighted. It's just like a candy store with reggae clothing, reggae accessories, and many different items that you're going to love. Along with the Jamaican shampoo. Since Retro Revolution is our authorized carrier for the Jamaican shampoo, along with our website, www.jamaicanshampoo.com. But Dr. Ross, is there anything else you'd like to add? I just want to say for Mr. Mark Consuelos and Miss Kelly Ripa, if you are ever in Texas, let IK and I take you down to Retro Revolution and dress you from head to toe. Compliments on us, of course. Let's get straight into these hot topics. Starting off with our first hot topic, the She's Hot Contest winner of this week is none other than Miss Julia Fox. We're going to put the photo right here that we saw that stunned IK and I, the studio co-host, and the audience at home because the competition was hot. Here's the photo right here. Miss Fox is staying foxy as always and looking beautiful. Now you know what Dr. Ross, after she left Kanye, she did a glow up. That's just my personal opinion. And actually for this segment, on the magazine segment where we saw Miss Julia Fox's latest and greatest style, she was put up against the Chloe Bailey, and they're saying Chloe Bailey wore it better. This is a thumbs down for me. She looks like she's going to deepen. Exactly. But we're gonna keep that alleged for now. But once again, congratulations on your win, Miss Fox. We'll have to invite you to lunch, brunch, and or dinner in the near future. That's and right. speaking of, with our films, our many films, our vampire film we're working on. We were going to have, exactly. We were going to have Miss Miley Cyrus play the main vampire. But you know, she has a little bit of that hillbilly essence to her. Like all of a sudden I'd be trying to prove that I'm not crazy when I knew I wasn't crazy. Right. Um we're gonna swap Miley Cyrus out for Miss Julia Fox. That's right. Because we believe she can play the role right. Fox. Get it right, get it tight. Exactly. Just as Bubba Sparks once said. Ready to get it right in. Get it tight! Are you ready to get it right in? Get it tight! Let's get into our next hot topic. So on our next hot topic, we have Taylor Swift. Miss Taylor Swift is back at it again. She announced last night that she has released her new album, but she said she's gonna give it to us the one time. She's gonna give us two albums. So she released two albums last night, but Taylor, we have something to say for you. I Can and I have the Taylor series, as you know, and we released two books as well. The first book was Taylor and B Goes Country. This is our book about Miss Taylor Swift and Miss Beyonce for their country extravaganza, as well as our new book as well that is called Taylor and Katy Perry Visit Olivia's World. This is with Olivia Rodrigo, Katy Perry, and Miss Taylor Swift. Make sure to go check out those two books down below. Two for two, double feature, just like you. That's right. Make sure to check them out as Dr. Ross said in the link below. But let's get into our next hot topic. And before we do that, make sure to check out, since Dr. Ross and I are the writers, producers, and directors of our own 60 children's books now and 40 movie scripts. The reason why I mention this is that Dr. Ross and I have our company, Vicious Productions, Vicious Entertainment, Vicious Publishing, and Vicious Literary Agency, all That's estimated right. at $5 million and debt free. That's right. Now, if you want to be a part of the new, you know who to contact. I.K. and Dr. Ross, because we're going to take over Hollywood and make the new Hollywood in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, to be specific. Let's get into our next hot topic with P. Diddy, Mr. Love himself. 
He actually came in for an interview today. But you know what, Dr. Ross? Dr. Ross, I think that might be him outside the studio. Oh, shoot. Okay, I think, I think you're right. That is him. Oh, shoot. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. This is the actual video that Puff Daddy sent to us for his response. Yes, since Puff Daddy saw the lookalike run across the studio. It so, wasn't the real thing. That's right. But Puffy did send us the interview. We'll put that clip in right now. Hey. Man, somebody called me. I just seen and some station on staying off my my social devices. It's too much cooning and buffooning. Too much cooning and buffooning. And believe and believe me, when I get my thoughts together, I'm gonna figure out a way to articulate myself. Cause this conversation ain't even for the whole world to hear. It's just for us. Other than that, Puffy might be on the cooning and buffooning. We don't know. Puffy, stay up player. We don't know what's gonna happen. He's still on the run at the moment. Allegedly, he might come back to the studio, so make sure to stay tuned. And Miss Taylor Swift, we commend you on all that you're doing, all of the new albums you've released, and everything that you've done for the community. Speaking of, Dr. Ross and I actually released our own book based on the events with you, Mr. Travis Kelsey called Taylor Takes the NFL by Storm. Now, Dr. Ross and I's book and us were both on Kansas City's news stations, ABC and NBC, both right before the Super Bowl. That's right. And our predictions for that interview and before when I Kansas City was going to come out on top. And I did. Obviously, we made the right prediction. Miss Taylor Swift and Mr. Travis Kelsey. A lot of people are asking what's next, including U.S. Weekly. All I can say is, Travis, put a ring on your finger. Exact the move. These were all of our hot topics, but before we close off our episode, we'd like to mention a few of our dear friends and their establishments. That's right. We're starting it off with Miss Pretty Lou Nell. Miss Pretty Lou Nell has been lighting up the comedy circuit, of course, staying on top and getting all of the venues sold out. That's right. Make sure to catch her show in Las Vegas as well. She has a show of all shows. They say she's the best comedian on the planet. Cat Williams told us that. So. And I'm going to have to agree. We'd also like to mention Mecha Matcha. If you're looking for the nice, delicious matcha, that's not only going to taste good, but make you more fit in the process. Mecha Matcha is for you. Order the green tea. Ceremonial is my favorite at level three. We'd also like to mention Anvil Tattoo. Ask for Mr. Waylon. He's going to give you a piercing that looks devilish. We'd also like to mention Miss Sherry. Sherry at Cat Tattoo. If you're looking for a piercing that's going to give you that look and that luster, you know where to go. Cat Tattoo. That's right. We'd also like to mention Yank Apparel. The clothing that's going to fit you right, tight, and get it right, get it tight. That's what the spark said. That's right. And need donuts lastly, because we need donuts after you try these delicious donuts. Donuts and pastries. That's right. And how people say crispy. Exactly. The full trio. And how people say Krispy Kreme is the best donut, they've never tried any before. Because you'll be leaving on a stretcher. And that's in a good way. Do you all remember the episode from the Boondocks? That right there. She dies of a heart attack. <coughs> or another stroke. Or something. God called her home. And what does the family do after she dies? They get together for a Sunday dinner and eat the same food that just killed Big Mom. The same food! They didn't learn a lesson. And we'd also like to mention, for our final mention, Retro Revolution. If you're looking for reggae products that are going to be exotic, nice, sexy, things that you're looking for, Retro Revolution is the place to go. Clothing, apparel, accessories, exotic items, and the roseandgold.us Jamaican shampoo. That's right. And, Miss Erica Badu, if you are ever in downtown Dallas or the Plano area, make sure to stop by Retro Revolution because they have the style that we feel you would love and need. They say Erica Badu got her name from the forest of Badu. What? We don't know where she got her name from. 
But allegedly. How you about to? But to get back on track, Retro Revolution, it's like a candy store for adults. That's right. They've got not only Rasta and Reggae clothing, they've got Rasta and Reggae jewelry, anything that you can put your mind to, they have it. They have everything in there. Make sure to go check out Retro Revolution. We are going to put their location down below as well as their website. That's right. These were all of our hot topics and mentions for today, but... To Miss Kelly Rippa, Dr. Ross, is there anything you'd like to say? Miss Kelly Rippa is the number one morning show, daytime talk show. Make sure to go watch Miss Kelly Rippa's show and watch Mr. Mark Consuelos as well. That's right, number one. And we heard that from Cat Williams as well. Cat Williams has been spinning a lot of truth recently. Who knows? We might have him on the show next. You never know. Make sure to stay tuned. Cat Williams and Diddy might be a special. If Houston didn't find him first. A legend. These were all our hot topics, but we'll see you all in the next episode of Rose and Gold. To Kylie Jenner and to all the ladies out there. That's for you. We'll see you on the next one. Episode of Rose Gold. I'm your host, IK, and this is our lovely co host, Dr. Ross. Right now, we're at the Cambodian Temple, enjoying the Cambodian New Year, Laos, Thai, and Burmese. But Dr. Ross and I were just praying to Buddha, along with enjoying their delicious cuisine and donating to the temple. But let's get straight into our hot topics, starting it off with the latest and greatest movie releases. We're going to keep this short and sweet, but Dr. Ross, what are your thoughts on the latest release, Monkey Man? So I, thought the, the I thought the movie was really good. What are your thoughts on the idea? I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. It would be the same here. I really like the way they diversified it, added in some American flavor, but also the Indian tropes that we all know and love. That's right. And it sort of reminded me a little bit of a sort of older films more like Old Boy mixed with something like John Wick. It's a good take on things, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, you should definitely check it out. That's right. Dr. Ross and I are going to make the second Monkey Man featuring Dr. Ross and I can. We just got back from Las Vegas. If you didn't watch our recent episodes on YouTube, make sure to go watch that at rosengold.us. Subscribe and like. And make sure to follow our Instagram, rosingold.us, to stay up to date on everything that we are doing with our career. IK and I, like I said, just got come back, back from Las Vegas, and it was super fun. We're back in Dallas, Texas, and we're here at the temple, the Cambodian New Year. So make sure to come on down and experience the Cambodian New Year. Live it. Learn it. Experience it. Love life. We'll see you all in the next episode. And we forgot to mention it in our Rose and Gold episode, but I just wanted to let you all know that not only was it Cambodian New Year, but it was also Burmese New Year as well. So Happy New Year to all of the different cultures. We just wanted you all to see an insight on how beautiful the architecture is and how much fun the temple is. So make sure to come check it out.